What's up, everybody? I'm FHRC Brony, ready controlling cars. And today, I this is a new RC, but this one's technically not mine. This is a an Axial SCX24 Deadbolt that was actually that actually belongs to my cousin. Um, why is it with me right now? Well, my aunt actually gave this to me and asked the steering doesn't work. The car will go forward and backward, but doesn't steer. So uh, that really gave me that that immediate answer that this thing has a servo issue. Uh, but real quick, before I begin, I just want to make sure, just want to show you guys how really cool this thing is. At first glance, it's a 24 scale uh, rock crawler, hence its name, SCX24. Um, but it's slightly shorter than my Kyosho 4Runner, Mini Z 4Runner, just by, uh, just by maybe an inch or maybe an inch or half an inch, or something like that. So, but it's still small and doesn't have a lot of suspension action. Um, but at first I thought it didn't have a lot, but when you really flex it, it really does have more than I thought it would be. So this thing could be capable for the price of, you know, basic terrain. So anyways, um, it also hinges like that. So just two pins and there you go. So yeah, they have a servo issue and, um, I went to my local ho RC hobby shop to get to get a micro servo. They do have one, but they don't fit. Meaning that the, I was looking at the Savox um, micro server, a server servo. It does fit width wise, but lengthwise it does not. So, what's wrong with this servo? You may ask. Well, plug it in. The truck goes forward and backwards, but. And turn so I suspect servo issue so what I'm gonna do today is replace it replace the servo with a brand new one and uh, by the way that thing is costs like 20 bucks about 20 bucks so it doesn't really cost a lot all right I'll go get started I'll go ahead and charge the battery up Oh, um, just letting you guys know, if you do hear my Xbox going off a little bit on the background, it's because I'm actually uploading three videos uh, onto Xbox Live, and those three videos will be eventually on my YouTube channel, and that is related to the Forza 2021 season. So be on the lookout for that if you guys are, are subscribed to mainly my Forza videos. Uh, okay. So it actually plugs like this. Huh. Charger style. Uh, phone charger style, so I'll go ahead and charge this up and I'll go from the here So I don't really need a whole lot of special tools or in fact it doesn't really need special tools required just to get this thing out So I'm gonna try to find a way to get this servo out It looks like it's being held down by, ah, it's just held down by two screws, it looks like. This is actually a chassis, uh, a steering uh, axle mounted servo. It's not like my, it's not like my Mini Z where it's a uh, chassis mounted servo. Okay, so I had to rummage through my automotive to toolbox where the toolbox I actually used to fix cars with that has a, all the big tools to fix my cars. I actually found some old, uh, some Allen wrenches that was small enough to get to this one. So, oh, we're back in business. So what I need to do. Those. Okay, there's the old servo. And the new servo, quite surprisingly, has some new hardware onto it. So I guess I'll need to reuse the old one. in there 
anyways, before I want to do, oops, sorry for moving the camera, but before I, before I do anything, I want to go ahead and make a quick test. Controller is on. Okay, let's move forward and back. Plug this in. And yep, servo's working. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on back onto the truck. to reuse the servo saver because they already gave me a new one for it. The only thing I don't really like about this is the hinge part just like kind of gets in your way sometimes. Get one screw in there and just get it in there but not tighten it up because I need to put the other screw in. Okay. <clears throat> so our apologies for hitting the camera again. Battery's not fully charged yet, but you know, I don't want to do this for sake of testing. Haha, ha, works now. Uh, looks like we can go for a test run. I really like the looks of the headlights. Keep in mind, that's LiPo batteries that's doing that. And it flipped over. There's my little RC4 runner too doing this. <laughs> I don't really have any rock crawling obstacles to test the limits, but you know. But the steering does work. And the throttle response is pretty well. This one is actually powered by a 2S LiPo. And my Kyosha is running off of AAA batteries. And flipped over.
All right. I guess that's pretty much it. I guess I can call that a successful fix. All fixed up. So yeah, that's my first time fixing up an Axial SCX24. So uh, all my other RCs are Traxxas. And that's pretty much the only non-Traxxas RC that I've got, at least in the hobby-grade RC world. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.